Where should your name tag be? What side of the, what side of the body? Right. right side, right? Right side is the right side. Left side, wrong side. Because I'm looking here. Where does this go? Right to the next side. Okay, go over here, Terrence. So, excuse me, Jeremy, Jeremy. Yeah, I, I'm because of your eyes, Terrence Howard. Right, so. <laughs> but but when, when I'm remembering people's names, I attach something to it so I remember it. So to remember Jeremy's name, I think of Terrence Howard. You know, pretty boy here, right? So, so if I, here's a shake, right, right here. I'm not going like this. You see, you see what I'm talking about? Right hand, boom, boom, yeah, right here. Right into the eyes. Okay, okay, cool. Networking. Okay, body language, setting appointment, overcoming objection. If I'm having a conversation with who I'm talking to, and he's like this, right? He's like this, where should my body be pointed to? So we're having a conversation, right? We're just having a conversation. Hey, bro, uh, how do you feel about the Cowboys? Good? Yeah. No, notice how I'm shifting? I'm shifting over here, so I get in front of him. I'm not back here, so he's looking over his shoulder. Now, whether or not he matches me and points his body towards me, that he's gonna, he, his, by the way, his brain is going to figure that up. But as a, as a prospector, is a person who's skilled in his craft of setting appointments, being charismatic, overcoming objections, I got to help myself out with body language. So if I'm talking to Terrence, hey, bro, I, I, I uh, appreciate that, that suit, man. What, what, what do you do for a living? Landscape designer. Landscape designer? Well, why are you dress like that? Like looking clean. Huh? Like looking clean. You like looking clean? That's it. You like looking clean, Absolutely. but is that like a, is that a is that a three button two button? Three button. Three button. That's hot, bro. I like that ticket pocket. You know where that you know where that comes from that ticket pocket. I actually know. That, you know where that comes from? OG. It's OG back in the day when people used to go to movies. That's where they put the tickets. That's why they call it ticket pocket. It's a throwback. But you're a man. You're a man about fashion, right? What, what what type of style? What type of styles you like? You like a pinstripe? You like a, the the Prince 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 Wales design? Are you more of a shark skin suit? What uh, what, what what grabs your eye? Pinstripe. You know who likes pinstripes? Who? People like money. You like money? <laughs> <laughs> but w w was I just role playing prospecting right here? Yes. Being Kara yes. charismatic, right? Trying to find out what he likes. So, so a guy that likes pinstripe suits, uh, usually people have their inspirations growing up. What type of what type of movies do you like? Because you're you're a pinstripe guy, you're a movie guy. What what's, what type of movies do you do you, do you get attracted to? Hey, what's, what's the latest Wall Street movie you've seen? Um, can't think of it right now. Uh, the ones like The Banker. Like, uh, like Wall Street, Wall Street 2? I've seen Wall Street, yeah. You've you seen Wolf of Wall Street? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what do you think about it? Uh, very interesting, you know, especially seeing the people uh, coming up uh, from nothing and creating a, a life for themselves. But, but notice our body language now. Notice where you just naturally started leaning into. Me, me too. So we're like 45 45. You see our body language right here? Now, he, if he's really into this conversation, so Terrence, fo, fo, right, then he's like this. So, fellas, dating tip. <laughs> if you do this to a woman too soon, this is like, like go, bro, back up. <laughs> By the way, in prospecting 101, this is a little too soon, too, too much too soon. <laughs> Date me a little. Right? So, I like a little bit of 45, 45. So, therefore, it's kind of like, yeah, it, it, it gives an out. It's not like, bro, pay attention to me. <laughs> this is kind of like, cool. And, and then you got something else going on, and, and so you, you can just be a little bit more relaxed. So, so um, you like, you like uh, Wall Street. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, is, is that a career path? That you're a landscape guy, mm -hmm. but you like finance movies and Wall Street. Is that a direction that you want to head into, and, and why? Yeah. How, how come? I love money. Um, you love money? Yeah, I realized when I got my degree that that was yeah. yeah. But at the time, just like most people, um, you were taught to get a degree. So I said, hey, let me get something that I'm passionate about, something that I love. But I yeah. knew eventually at some point, I had to figure out how to make money. Gotcha. So, what have you found out so far? What, what's been uh, attracting you to make money in? Uh, being a business owner. Being a business owner? Mm -hmm. What type of business? Uh, well, right now, well, it scares me. But no, 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 no. <laughs> forget that I'm in PHP. Okay. So what, uh, what, what the, is in your wheelhouse in terms of making more money? Uh, wholesaling. Wholesaling? Yeah. How, how come wholesaling? Um, you just see the, uh, the growth, you know, from places like Amazon, Kindle, um, and how uh, available uh, product is to people these days, especially online. Oh, wholesaling, not real estate, wholesaling products, wholesaling. like like e-commerce. Correct. 
Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So how, how's it going? How, have you started an e-com store? Walmart? I haven't Amazon? started one, but you know, they do a t-shirt yeah. standing in it. So. Okay. By the way, you guys know they, they, got, they got Walmart stores now. Yeah. Like you can have your own Walmart store. They want to compete with Amazon. Okay, let me get back in. Okay, so so you, so so you haven't done any e-com? Not yet. Okay. I don't want to get in that frame though. Got it. Got it. What, what's what's like your time frame to get something so going? Because a guy like you likes money just like that. I mean, do you want that to be an everyday thing, or do you want to just go back to landscaping back on Monday? No, definitely every day. Uh, yeah. If anything, I want to flip the ro uh, roles, focus more on wholesaling and uh, creating capital that way, and then have a passion doing the landscape stuff. I'm just I'm just curious. You know, e-com seems to be like a uh, a thing that you hear is a, is a buzz where a lot of people get involved in. Mm -hmm. And usually most people need coaches and mentors. Who's coaching and mentoring you? Uh, YouTube. Uh, that's, I, I got you. Very, very cool. <laughs> How, how's it working? Uh, I would say right now pretty good. You know, I haven't had any bad experiences, but just like anything, you got to constantly learn. And gotcha. I'm curious, how do you define mentor? What does a mentor mean in your life? Just a resource and information or somebody that actually holds you accountable and shows you and guides you along the way? More holds you accountable, kind got of guides you. Have you found that person yet? No, unfortunately not. Have you been looking? I have. Where, have you, where, 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 do, you find, where do you where do you think you're finding them? Uh, By the way, notice my talk is not... Notice I'm, I'm also playing with my words. Yeah. That's intentional. I'm not trying to be like the most, you know... Not, you're now, I'm, I'm trying to... What, what am I doing that for? I'm skipping my words because I'm trying to connect and relate. Okay, let me get back in. All right, so, you know, most people, they find a mentor... How does some somebody like you find a mentor? Uh, usually out networking. You know, okay. Different, different organizations and groups to be a part of. And yeah. Kind of mingling. So what would attract you about a mentor? If you saw somebody do this, like, yo, dog, that's a mentor. Um, I think their dedication and interest in me. That's the big thing I look for. Why should they care? Why should they care? Yeah. Why should they care about you? I'm just being objective. I'm just asking. Um, I would just say the level of dedication that I have to want to achieve something. So um, mentally knowing that I am prepared to do what it needs to uh, in order to uh, be successful. You know, not just kind of kicking tires and playing around with anybody's time. How long have you been researching e-com? Uh, almost a year now. So you've been kicking tires? Yeah, kicking tires but learning at the same time. So What have you done? Um, just studying for the most part. So you've done you know? nothing? You've been gathering information? Yeah, I haven't invested into okay. it. All right, cool. But but that, that was a jab, right? That, that that's actually a shot. Yeah. So, bro, was was your time frame to make money? Like like if a, a mentor is gonna be attracted to you, but he's just seen that you've been learning on. But I'm just asking asking for a friend. Absolutely. If a mentor just seen you do that, but you haven't reached have you reached out to anybody? Have you scheduled lunch or have you asked a mentor? Hey, here's what I can do for you. In exchange, potential, could you consider, have you done any of those? Uh, no, I'm still looking for. But it's been a year. Yeah. If you continue the same pace you're doing right now and looking for a mentor, when will you find one? Um, difficult to say. Got yeah, it. I would say not anytime soon. Gotcha. Cool. Well, listen, man, um, my boys are giving me a call here, but listen, I, I know we just met. I just complimented your suit, but uh, a guy like you, I'd love to stay in contact with. I don't know if that's, that's all putting to you, but. I'm around a lot of coaches and mentors. I don't know if my network would bring any value to you, but if it makes sense, I'd love to maybe kick a, kick a phone number or conversation down the road. Yeah. You're, you're, are you a cigar guy too as well? I don't. No. You don't? Okay, no, 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 no harm, no foul. Great. Uh, what, what's your number? Are you 972-214? Are you Absolutely. That's it. That's it. Right? That's it. Now, here's the thing too when I'm prospecting. I just messed this guy up. Like what an asshole! Like what an asshole that guy was, right? But now when I text him back, I'm the guy that was asking about a mentor, because now I'm I'm hitting a pain point, right? Okay. And and by the way, did I talk about anything that I did? No. So I was was I more interesting or I was more interested? interested. That's what we want to be with setting appointments, overcoming objections, because in this process. The probability of me having objections is low. Why? Because I'm looking out for their interest, not mine. This is opposite. If, 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 like people in car sales or real estate sales or any other form of other sales, they don't understand this because for them, they got to sell this commodity. For us, what are we selling? The opportunity to better their life and to remove pain from their life. Okay, so, so turn around. So I'm, not, and I'm calling him, right? Uh, ring, ring, is this, uh, is this Terrence Howard? I mean, is this uh, Jeremy? 
Is it Jeremy? Yes, Jeremy, remember me? I'm, I'm the guy that you met at the, uh, at the uh, uh, sports bar. I was talking about your suit. I was, you and I were talking about um, wholesaling and mentorship. You remember me? Yeah. Gotcha. Awesome, man. How are things? Cool, cool. I, I'm just curious, but I, I didn't mean to offend you the other day. Uh, did, you, did, did you take that the wrong way? No. Gotcha. Cool. So how is it going so far? I'm looking for a mentor. Uh, still looking. Still looking? Okay. Um, that's the reason why I'm calling you. I'm doing a workshop this coming Tuesday. I'm not so sure if it's for you, but I promise you I'd call him if something came up and something did come up. It's a conversation in the financial services industry, and there's mentors all around. There's people that are making six figures, seven figures. Are you around those people right now? No. Okay. Would that, would that help you if I put you in connection and put you around these type of people making six and seven figures? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you might find a mentor. Yeah, absolutely. Would that make sense? Okay. Um, how, how, uh, by the way, give me some, give, give, give me some, give me some juice. Give me, give me a hard time. Uh, uh, side note. Okay. Back in. Scene. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so if I would invite you around um, uh, this environment, would that be of any help to you? Uh, yeah, it could be a little bit of help. Depends on the opportunity and the time frame. Gotcha. Well, it's your time frame, man. You're the one that says you want to leave landscaping and and do do some you know do something for yourself. So, uh, if if I would just extend an invitation, either this Tuesday or this coming Saturday, which would work best for you? Uh, what time on Saturday? Saturday at 10 a.m. Or, or Tuesday, 7 p.m. Those are the only two. What time, what, what those days work best for you that you can make time for? Um, Tuesday, so you can find a babysitter? Yeah. Or somebody to watch the kids? Hey, by the way, are you married? No. Okay, I got you. Uh, you girlfriend? Fiance? Uh, Look at you, man. Okay, I got you. So you can find somebody to watch the kids on Tuesday? Yeah, should be. By the way, can I, can I ask you a, uh, uh, another question? Uh, it's, about, it's about being a single father. Are you okay with me asking a question around that, around that area? Uh, what type of life do you want to create, you being a single father? What type, what type of uh, opportunities do you want to create for them? Because I know I was a single father, and I was around all the people who are single father. It's very difficult to be a single parent. What, what's that like for you? Uh, I just want to be an opportunity that I didn't have growing up. So um, whether that be, um, you know, going to college, starting a business, whatever that may be, I think, uh, keep the going side, I want to be a resource for them to If their kids were going to go to college next year, would you have the resources and the opportunities for them to go to college to take advantage of things that you didn't take care of? No, not at all. Gotcha. Is that something you want to seriously line up? Yeah, absolutely. Like, like confidently? Absolutely. Knowing that without a shadow of a doubt? Because these folks here that I'm introducing to on, on Tuesday, they have all that set up for their children. So how would you like to be helped by people who are not just talking theory, but they're actually putting it into practicality? Yeah, no, that's Good. That's the conversation that's going to be on Tuesday. Okay. Now listen, Terry, I know we just, we just, Terry, I know, Jeremy, Jeremy, I know we just met um, and we're just starting to get to know each other, but uh, are you the type of guy that says they're going to show up somewhere and then last minute flake out because the, the, the place is packed? No. Um, I think okay, awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Here, here's the, uh, the address. Um, by the way, this is the person that's going to be talking on Tuesday. Here's an Instagram link and a couple of other videos. So therefore, to help you understand what we're going to be talking about on Tuesday... This is what you should review beforehand, okay? Jimmy, pleasure talking to you, man, and uh, I'll see you then on Tuesday. All right, bye-bye. Boom, that's it. That's sending, that's it. That's sending the appointment. Okay?